back to another episode of the Blue Honor Blog. I'm Kay Williams, author of Opdeck Operation Deceit, the Trilokia Trilogy, and the Civil War drama Blue Honor. Today I'm going to talk about reader question. <laughs> and um, that question is, what are five things that you know, want to know or learn? So I wrote up my list here. And um, I'm just going to talk briefly about that for a few minutes. Um, first thing I would want to know or learn is if I will be disappointed or pleased looking back on my career as an author. A lot of people probably don't want to know something like that because that's looking into the future and there's nothing we can do to change things. So why would you want to know that you're going to be disappointed? Yeah, right? I... I would want to know so that I can stop and put my efforts into something that will matter and will will do good things. Spend more time with my daughter and my family. Um, probably, you know, really dig in and focus uh, at work and maybe even... Um, go back and get a PhD in something, that would be really awesome. And we'll talk a little bit about that next. Because number two is learn Mandarin. Yeah. Um, as you know, as you've probably seen in some of my other posts, I am trying to learn German, which has kind of gotten sidelined because I had a little girl back in 2017. She's a toddler and she takes up most of my time. And she's my absolute joy. And I love spending time with her, so I put everything else aside. It is hard to find time to write um, with that, but there's a point where she does go to bed for the day. And um, I try to cram everything in then, but that's rough when you're tired, you know, from playing with her all day or cleaning up, doing laundry, working, etc. Because, I mean, I do have to work a day job to put some food on the table. Unless y'all want to buy, you know, the books in the gajillions, which I would totally appreciate. You know, please buy a copy, Kindle or paperback. They're both available. It would be awesome, you know. And then you can send me your questions and stuff about the books. And I can answer those. That would be fantastic. So, um, learning German has been um, amazing. It's, like, so cool playing songs and stuff. And, like, I, I, I know some of the stuff that they're saying. Um, on that app that I use, Duolingo, there's a plug for you guys, Duolingo, they do have an option to learn Mandarin Chinese, and I did switch over my account to Mandarin f very briefly just to check out an exercise, and I was floored at the difficulty. And not only do you have to learn how to say things, because your pronunciation has to be correct, because words are so similar, you have to know what the character is. So it's like, with German, I already have the alphabet. You only have to add a couple of the umlauts to do that. Um, Mandarin, each character is a word, and it's just overwhelming. You know, I mean, as driven as I am, that's going to be quite a feat. But if I'm able to pull it off, then I could possibly do my Ph.D., in um, Chinese literature and film, which would be absolutely amazing, <laughs> to be honest. I would love that. Um, I fell in love with that uh, absolutely head over heels once I saw Redcliffe. Not that I hadn't been in love before. It, the literature and the history and the film is just striking, and I absolutely love it, and I would love to learn more. But once I saw Redcliffe, that kind of cinched it for me, but, you know, as I said, the language is going to be a barrier for me. And that would be um, only the third language that I would have attempted. So I have attempted French uh, in school and uh, German on my own now. I had much more success with the German than the French, which people probably like this. Kind of crazy because German is very hard. And I'm like, well, no, I speak English. And English is a Germanic language. I feel like it's kind of... Maybe it's because I like it. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So my third thing 
third, sorry, I can't count with my hand, three. I would love to learn physics and calculus. As you know, I started out as a biology student. I kind of got railroaded by a really lame professor um, in my career who had no interest in teaching women calculus. And he said that straight up, I swear to God, it was like 1994, straight up in the class. Oh, we're gonna have a couple women in here. They're from the biology program. They'll be dropping out anytime. Mm -hmm. For real, yep, Morrisville, SUNY Morrisville. Mm -hmm. yeah, and when I went to go speak to the department about that, they basically already knew and weren't gonna do anything. So that kind of railroaded me out of that, um, which was sad and disappointing and it would be nice to be able to get that back and have my associates in biology like I wanted. I took all the classes for that. I just didn't have the pre-calc or the calculus, I'm sorry, the calculus courses. But if I had taken the calculus with somebody who was worth the money of admission, <laughs> um, maybe I would have been able to do physics too and that would have been amazing. Uh, they didn't want to let me do it in high school. They sent me back to earth science instead. I kind of the same attitude, little woman, why do you need to do this? And I wasn't able to, you know, make my opinion forcefully enough for them, you know, to justify it. So I took earth science, which I hadn't had yet, which was fine, but I would have loved taking physics. I am fascinated by physics, especially theoretical physics, so you need the math. So anyone out there who would love to tutor me on calculus and get me through the course, yeah, subscribe, help me. <laughs> All right. Um, number four, are there aliens? Who wouldn't want to know that? Seriously, I want to know what, what they are like how many different planets actually have them, what they look like and stuff. Oh my God, that would just be amazing. There's gotta be, right? I mean, the vastness of the universe and we're it. No, I don't think so. And there's now discovering so many planets very similar to our own. I think we're gonna find them soon. I do. I really think that there's gonna be something in, you know, probably at first, you know, like always, it's probably just gonna be like a little bacteria or something that we find. I don't know if we'll ever get to see it up close and personal because right now it's just not feasible to travel like that, which is kind of disappointing. I'm like, oh, I wish that physics would catch up. <laughs> anyway, number five, what the hell am I creating that I can never put my finger on? I swear to God, I have a craving every day and I can't tell you what it is. Salty and crunchy, that's about it. And it's like, but if I eat popcorn, not it. Peanuts, not it. It's not it. Pizza, not it. French fries, not it. Fried chicken, not it. And it's like really super frustrating because you'll go through like all of this food and you're still craving so then you still want to eat, so. But I've kind of gotten to the point where I'm like, I'm not eating till I know what the hell it is that I want. And um, I will just put it off. And you know, I found that I'm not as hungry anymore. I drink some water instead. You know, my brain is very confused. Probably doesn't know what the hell it wants either. It probably wants a toffee or something stupid. Maybe kettle corn is what it wants. Anyway, those are the five things that I want to learn or know. So let's go over that list again. If I will be pleased or displeased by my writing career. Two, to learn Mandarin. Three, physics and calculus. Four, are there aliens? And five, what the hell am I after? What am I craving? God, you're driving me crazy, buddy. Anyway, make sure that you subscribe, hit the button there, come on over to my blog and drop in your email address and you will get a newsletter once a week on Friday 
and it'll send you all of my articles that I've written for the week. Just do that. Talk to you later. Next time.